Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Hi right, guys, so welcome to episode 2 of Alan Wake. Um hope you guys are having a good day. Um but anyways, uh first part our first episode is already up and I did get like a copyright strike. I had a feeling I was going to get a copyright strike on it. Well, it's not more of a strike, it's more of like uh the music was copyrighted in certain countries, which is doesn't make any sense to me. But anyways, we're up with next next part, part two, and uh, so far it's good so far. I'm not, it's, I never played anything like this type of game, but we're gonna go ahead and start it. So let's see, we need to switch on the coffee maker. Whatever that's, uh, I think it's right here. Oh, oh my God, on. that's a blunder. So I'm guessing they just like it looks like they just moved into this house. Okay, we can't go into that door. I know she's in here. But before I go in there and check her out. Oh yeah, you seen that? There's actually something in there. Oh look at that manuscript. Might as well go ahead and check this out. Oh, just another one. What's this? It's true one? what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Huh. The fall of Casey. Things that I want. Alex Casey. Huh. Why? Uh, what I can't forget and return to Sunder. I'm assuming that's like all his books that he's made. So he's only made what? Four? Five? He only made five books. I really should be in that in that room to grab that thing, but I don't. I want to make sure I don't miss anything else, you know. Yeah, I don't want to turn that on. I guess we can go ahead and grab go into this room, talk to her, and grab. Oh hey, I grab just this. those cover mockups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. So this is occasion, just three years I ago. I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seemed to think so last night. Oh, okay. Uh, examine cover mock-ups. Damn, look at these photos. These are all of him, I'm assuming. Pretty cool. Uh, examine the mock cover-ups. Where would that be at? 
Okay, I think it's in the room next to us. Well, we were just in this room, wasn't it? Oh, check that out. There's a QR code. Hold on. I'm I'm actually kind of curious because when games have this stuff, I always I always like to uh, see if it's uh oh it brings up YouTube. Oh, it brings up a minute video by Remedy Entertainment. Hold on one second. Okay. All right, so it was a minute long video of them posting or something about Casey, and I thought Casey was a female, but apparently it's a male. So it's about this Casey guy. It's pretty These cool that really they have good. those in the game. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them, which, by the <clears> way, <throat> will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. The last time was the last Barry. time. Oh shit. She has a fear of Alan, the dark. Please check the fuse box. Oh my god. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just get the lights back on. Yeah, she has a fear please. of fucking darkness, which Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. What is she going to Okay. What is she going to do when there's like a power outage, bro? I just Like It just really spooked me. Don't worry. Does she we'll sleep with the, the lights on? I know it's stupid, but it's just. Oh, she does. When I'm or not well, prepared for it, maybe know? I don't know. It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Ah. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The, <laughs> the clicker. clicker? Uh -huh. Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Night light. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. <laughs> I love you even if you are a liar. I mean, in certain scenarios, I guess. Fall is the present day. All right. Hmm. <clears throat> How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? Damn. I don't even know what's real and what's not. I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Huh. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Alright, so we need to talk to Sarah. And then we need to find our wife. And then, uh... I don't know. See, I don't know what's real or not. I don't know if this is still the nightmare, you know? Okay, this... Wait a minute, is not the guy or lady from earlier? What are you... Miss Weaver, everything seems to be fine. That is. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. All right, you need to. You are strange. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. She's like petting whatever she's petting, like a cat. You are Mr. one strange person. The sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. All right, thank you, God. Uh, that was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um well, other things these days. Yeah, she's a little strange. She fit right in where I come from. A little weird, you ask me. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's 
no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Yeah, this is Thorn. He died. Look, he did. We killed him. The float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Chains out. Where's, it says a manuscript, but I don't... Oh, it's on the floor. <clears throat> All right, Alice sees a I shadow. Through the viewfinder, lining up the shot, Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye: a figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there, just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Yeah, she's really scared of the dark. Like. What do you do when the power actually cuts out? Office, I know. Hold on, lady. You're gonna do arrest me for not going to talk to Sarah? Calm down. I'm trying to explore a little bit. Oh, look at this. Three people are missing. Richard, Bruce, and Jacob. On a camping trip, overdue, haven't been in contact. Have you seen them or know, their, know of their whereabouts? Please call this number. Thank you. Sarah Breaker Sheriff. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Yeah, did you look through my phone? You better not have looked at my phone. Let's see. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? Didn't we just tell I'm you not what happened? Sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. Why would she, she lock locked me up? Oh, because we killed him. But I don't even know if it's true. Excuse me. I need to take this. It's an unknown caller. Why would you take an unknown call? Hello? Alan, please help me. Oh, is that Alice? his wife? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife Who again. is this? What the fuck? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. <laughs> Lover's Midnight. Peak. Don't Mr. do nothing Ray, to stupid child. Quiet. For watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Hey, Wake. Hey, you can get there hey, through the cell mister. corridor. Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I... I need it to be bright in here. Why is everybody scared of the dark? What is it? I just don't know what's going on. Let's see the dark presence in the diner. In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Hmm. Apparently a lot of people in the town are scared of dark, even Alan's hey! wife. Hey! Shut up, the man. The light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. To the left, okay. Well, let me grab this real fast. Not that it's important to grab, but I might as well just grab it anyways. What am I supposed to, why is it focusing on what the, the caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station there was something for me in an abandoned car in, a, in an abandoned car that examine the junker there's supposed to be a a uh oh I can jump hold on right here I just noticed, I think, uh, the first chapter, or episode, or whatever, I think I missed a couple pages. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. 
I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I feel like whatever these manuscripts are telling me is what's going to actually happen right now. <laughs> I just, I don't know. It's... Alice's driver's license had been placed in the front seat. The caller meant business. Oh, wow. So the person does really have her. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here. Here in Bright Falls. What? Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. I don't... I don't understand why you don't just let the cops out. Why don't, why don't you just tell them what happened? They're not going to arrest you if you tell the truth. You didn't do anything. You didn't kill... Well, you did kill that guy, but he was coming after you. It would have been self-defense, right? What is with the bright lights? The light that reveals the world of his story from darkness. Shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Okay. Is he sleeping? Bro is knocked out. <laughs> he just knocked out on the floor. He's like, I need the lights on. Oh, look, we can switch the lights for you, buddy. There you go, buddy. Marvelous, sir. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their... <clears throat> Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emile Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where- Oh, oh damn. Oh my. Take it easy. Is that Barry coming in the door? Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't <laughs> know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges, Mr. Wake. My offer still stands. Get me out of here. Yeah, we what need the to find our wife. What that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. All right, now we need to, to explain to, to what I happened. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. Oh, that's the lady at the uh, at the diner. Right. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Oh, he likes her. <laughs> Who's Max? Ah, I'll tell you later. <laughs> what an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. Buck tooth this Charlie. Is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and more importantly, a fan. Yeah, but right now that's unimportant. We need to find our wife. We need to get the fuck out of this town. Kill this kill well, not kill him. I don't know. Maybe kill him. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. It's true. What? You shot a guy and his body just disappeared? Yeah. When's the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? Wait here. Calm down. Oh, poor boy. dog. I'm almost done. 
Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. Uh, I hope the dog's gonna be okay. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal uh -huh. use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. Yeah, I don't like any dog getting hurt. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it. Just give me a second. Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But I don't think he's buying it, but like... With reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. The funny farm, huh? Well, listen, buddy. Why would I not be telling the truth? Why would I be meet a kidnapper? Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. Cops would never believe you in this type of situation. I, I don't I don't know. Like, oh my wife is kidnapped. Alright, where was you at this time at this moment, you know? Uh the skeleton of Colombian mammoth Mammothus Columbi Columbi. The specimen estimated to be fourteen thousand years old. Good lord. Uh, was reco recovered from the Labri Tar Pit in 1981. It was donated to the Elderwood National Park in 1998. Look at that. Uh, when the Colombian mammoth became Washington's state fossil, named the Bucktooth Charlie, it has since become the park's official mascot. All right, we need to grab these papers. If you try to pull a joke on me, freak me out. It's working. Ha ha! Let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Why would I, why would I lie about my wife being kidnapped? Who does that? It's so weird. For a story? That's lame. Come on now. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. All right, see you. Here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Yeah, well... If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. I don't know what it's wanting me to focus on. I'm not seeing anything down there besides the parking lot. All right, come on. You're come on, Barry. Me Let's go. You're asking that you shot a dude who went poof, into thin air. <laughs> Man, listen, if you don't want to believe me, that's fine. Let's just go find our wife, talk to the kidnapper, and just call it a day. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI? FBI, Damn, right. the killer. FBI ain't gonna do shit. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> Bless you. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Damn. All right, buddy. Quit fucking sneezing. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Bro, you are sneezing. Bless you. Another one? This place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. 15%? <laughs> Alright, let's just get the hell out of this place. I mean, the cabin is really nice. Bro. I would like to live in, like, a cabin. Like, for, like, a weekend. Be dope. Pick up batteries. Oh, shit. We're about to shoot somebody here soon. Alright, that's locked. But we don't have a revolver yet. Make sure I don't miss anything. We can turn off the lights. I don't see a point in that. Okay, fine. I don't know. I, I would like to live in a cabin for a week, but at the same time, cabins kind of scare me. I don't know if you guys feel the same. <laughs> Alright, so we need to head down. 
there. Oh, I do have my gun. Heck yeah. Look at this little jacuzzi. Okay. Lock the door when I leave. <clears throat> Make sure I don't miss any manuscripts. Are we gonna take the, the the Jeep? I would love to take that Jeep to be honest with you. <clears throat> oh we can. Oh that'd be dope. Can we actually drive it? Uh Barry doubts wake sanity. Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. I think he's just trying, still trying to process what's going on. I don't... I don't know. I do want to take this and drive it, honestly. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. Oh, uh, a Jeep? What do you mean? Yeah, it would. Jeeps are really good for off-road. Damn, man, I was really hoping I to drive I it. should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Oh, okay. Okay, all right, listen. What the hell is that? Is that the birds? Yo, this place is creepy. Barry should have just came with us, to be honest with you. I think, uh... If he just... I think if he just took the Jeep, I think we would have been fine. Yeah, fuck that, I'm turning on the light. Oh, do I have a shot? Oh, I don't have a shotgun. Damn it, man. Shotgun was just a one-time use. Drop hazard, let's see. Huh. <clears throat> Whoa, what is that? Like a fucking avalanche. It looked like you tried to vault over the the fence. Yeah, I don't even think I okay, what's the point of me coming back here if I can't even vault over that? And there's not even oh well, look at that. And there's not even a manuscript either. Oh you can't get up from there. It looked like an opening there for a second. Alright, come on. All right, Elderwood Natural Trail, Natural Ch Na Nature Trail. Good lord, uh, Moonshine Cave and Lugger Lovers Peak. Hey, look at this place. It's like dirty. Well, the bird just sitting. Oh, there was a bird. Should I use that? I feel like I shouldn't. I don't know. We're going to. We're going to put the light on if we can. Oh, no, we can't. All right. Does the TV even work? Oh, it does. But the light doesn't work. Crime and punishment. That's oh, another one of these things. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish. Especially in Night Springs. Tonight's episode. And in the mirror. All right. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? Is it coming? 
Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? Wow. That sentence really flows, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face. I didn't like his face? Well, he must have hated it. What? Really That's the him. worst excuse. I mean, no to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh. How about that? He's not concerned at all. Look, no, he's smiling. It's plenty red now. I won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? I left my mark. Believe me. Damn, he's just gonna pull a gun on him? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I I don't understand any of this. And you never will. Don't worry. Maybe you'll see me again, Agent. Maybe in the mirror. So weird. <clears throat> Something triggered that cop, that detective. Yeah, super triggered. Oh, there's an abandoned car here. And a cell phone can't use. Do not feed wildlife. A hundred dollar penalty. Really? You're going to find somebody $100 for feeding the wildlife? That is lame. Let's see, Rose and Rusty. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. Uh -huh. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man <clears throat> who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. Huh. Right, let's check out this abandoned car. Oh, another manuscript. Back to back? Uh, rusty dying. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell. As if some rotten, drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Hmm. So whatever happened on this manuscript, it's what's gonna happen. I feel like. All right. Oh, what the fuck? The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. No! Yo, what in the world? Rusty, hang on! Oh I'm coming! Please help me! Yo, what? Damn, so whatever's Yo, what the hell? Yo, what just happened? How did all this even happen? Help me. Rusty, sorry, but I'm gonna go check out this real quick. I'm sorry, Rusty. I'm coming for you, but give me just a second. All right, where's Rusty at? How did Rusty even... Are you fucking driving drunk, dude? Help. Help me. Hello? Somebody. 
Oh, what the fuck? Somebody Mr. wanted. Wake? Somebody wanted that cop dead. <laughs> oh hell! It happened, just the way it was on that page. Oh. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. So whatever's on the page will happen. The lights in the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Yeah, that's uh. No, I can't go back that way. Don't worry, Rusty. You you stay there and save your breath. We'll come back and help you. If you're still alive. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. All right, let's see. Uh, Rusty attacked by the dark presence. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. Mm. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong Ew. way. Felt the broken rib stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Wow. That's what ha that's what literally what just happened. All right, we need to get the lights on. I'm sure he's gonna be dead by the time we get back to him. Yo, another manuscript. Let's check it out. Uh, Wake reaches a safe haven of light. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Okay. Alright, so we need to get the lights on, and we should be okay. Should be safe. But I still feel like he's not gonna survive. I just don't really know what happened, like... Everything just every oh fuck. It was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Oh. Um what the Rusty. fuck? Rusty? The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Holy shit. Alright, buddy. Oh, do I have a... I don't... Okay, okay, okay. Let's just reload. And uh, we'll take you out. You're dead. Insert battery. Alright, Rusty. I'm coming for you. Where are you at? Where'd he go? Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. What the fuck? Please don't feed the animals. Oh my god, he's alive still. It's that guy. No, we killed, didn't we not? Fishing is for those oh my god, no! <gasps> Wait, it's him! Oh my god, we have to kill... Rusty, what? Why? What happened to him? What in the world? I'm just a little lost. Oh my god, dude. Kick Yo. Man, I don't even have a shotgun anymore. Come on. Where'd he go? Man, we're really killing Rusty, huh? The darkness consumed him. I'm so sorry, Rusty. Defied the park ranger? Alright, oh, I blocked that. Or I dodged it. I didn't block it because you can't block in the game. But I definitely 100% dodged it.
Alright, we need to get ammo. Oh my god, dude almost killed me. Or sh oh, He missed! Alright, is it over? Yo, did I really kill Rusty? Like, what is happening? So we killed... We killed that one dude, and now he's missing. And then we killed Rusty, and now he's gonna be missing. So the cops are just gonna be suspicious on... Like, you know, ever since I landed here, and ever since I came here, you know, everybody's just dying. And there's my phone again. That's probably fucking... Oh, about Barry, that's his name, yep. Me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Yeah. Don't, don't leave the cabin. Just stay there. Oh, here we go. Rusty's final thoughts. Right. In that last instant of <laughs> consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens, but she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Wait a minute. So he was married, but he was messing around with the younger girl. What the fuck? So what about that first guy that we killed? Well, I, I, I probably missed the whole story about why he what he did and why we killed him. So are we going down there, I assume? Yeah, it looks like they were going down uh, that, that way. Head back to Lover's Peak. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Oh, what's over here though? Sorry, I'm I'm exploring, but you know what? Mine as well, right? Oh yeah, there's definitely gonna be something over here. We might be able to get another gun. You imagine we get a shotgun back? That'd be nice. It's a site of frequent bootleggers activity. Uh oh, that's a sweeter from here. Throughout the prohibition. Prohibition, 1919 by 1933. Yo, is that a shotgun? Oh, fucking right. And we got a flare gun, too. Oh, we are set. We are set. Switch to my shotgun. Only got two bullets. I think I might just go back to the revolver. Do I get more? And it's, the storytelling in this game is pretty cool, actually. And I don't, I don't read a lot of books, but you know, I do like the storytelling in this game. Sounds like somebody was just using that phone. Might have been a waste, but you know what? That's okay. Alright, who's next? Alright, Barry. Hopefully you're you're still alive. I'll find out. Fucking duck just probably consumed you too. Oh wait, no, we're not going back. To, are we? We're not going back. To, we're going to meet the kidnapper, aren't we? This is just all strange, man. More shotgun ammo. Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. All right, keep going down to Lover's Peak.
How are you alive? I just wasted a bunch of bullets on the guy, man. Oh, I see. So the little circle, I have to wait till it closes. Yep, now I can shoot him. Oh, I see you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there's three of them. That killed all of them, right? I think so. I mean, that, that flare is hella bird. Got one more shotgun bullet left. Oh, man. <clears throat> Damn it! Alright, are we done? Wake sees the torch symbol. I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, Hidden by a rock sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. Hmm. Now, I just... I feel like at the end of this whole thing, I feel like all of this, what's happening is just a complete dream, right? And they're not, or maybe they are going towards their, or on their vacation, they're probably just on like in the car sleeping or whatever. But I feel like all of this is a dream and none of this is actually happening. And he's just writing book, you know what I mean? Oh, fuck. Damn it, I should have saved the damn flare. I'm an idiot. Alright, we'll fight one of you guys one other time. Yep, I should have saved the damn flare, man. This might be where I die. I don't know. Yeah, I'm fucking dead, dude. Oh my god. Wow. I actually died in the game. Yo, what? Wow, that's a first. Okay. Did not expect that at all. Okay. Well, I should have saved the flare. I mean... What the fuck? Yo, there's so many of them. No, bro. Fuck that shit. Oh my god, bro. I can't believe this is actually happening. I'm actually gonna die every time. I have no shotgun bullets. I have, I mean, dude. Ain't no way this is happening right now. I don't believe it. It shouldn't be hard. Oh, what? Can we not do this, man?
Fucking A, man. Come on, reload. Hurry up. Faster, faster, faster. Oh my god, you just will not die, will you? Oh my god. That really just happened. God damn, man. Oh, what is this? Age from 1846, the year of the Oregon 3D. Okay. Now I'm out of ammo. I mean, what do I do if I'm completely out of ammo? What do you... How do you complete it? I guess you're just screwed. You just gotta die, I guess. I don't know. We'll find out. If we get attacked again. It says I need to reach this uh, Lover's Peak, but it's blocked for me. See that? It's blocked. Unless I can get on top of the rock. Oh, yep. Uh, Nightingale's arrival. Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. These little communities revolted him, and he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew that impossible horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and just drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch, at any cost. Hmm. And that's <clears throat> now the game is getting challenging. I didn't think it was gonna get challenging. I thought it was just gonna be pretty chill and calm, but a little bit of combat, but mostly story, you know. But I cannot get back up top. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? And I should save. I should have saved my flare, man. I knew I should have saved it. That would have been a perfect time to actually use it right there. Kill all those little dudes and then have just that big guy left. Shit. Oh, fuck. What's happening? Of course. Oh, no. Oh my god. Fucking get attacked by a swarm of freaking birds, and then we got these freaking shadows just attacking me. You better grab that fly. Oh, great. Oh, what the hell? Who's that? Come on, we gotta get moving. More of them coming. Wait, he can see them too? That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. Yeah, but the thing is, I only get a certain amount of flares. I can't just spam my flare every time I see one guy. <laughs> you can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Okay. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but... Let's move! I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Oh, just that, like, I just wasted it, but I didn't, wasn't sure. Moment, but then, I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He'd he bus? knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. The Come kidnapper? On, you better keep up. Why would he take... Now nah, I would use my flare, but I don't want to waste it on one dude. Yeah, we're going to waste it. So the kidnapper is helping us? That just doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna hold the flare right here. Yeah, y'all better back up. Just back up. Yo, I got a bunch of flares right here. Alright, let's just go. Oh, I need to use the flares against these guys, and then he will shoot them, right? 
Yeah, okay. Alright, shoot him, shoot him. I can't, I can't see. I got three left. Bro. Really? Alright, come on, kidnapper, shoot him. You're over here helping me, taking my wife from me. Might as well shoot him. Insert battery. All right, buddy. I need you to take him out. Okay. I have no idea why I can't. Bro, like, is this what we're gonna do all day, bro? All right, I ain't got time for this. I literally don't have time for that. Shoot him! God damn, you're slow, dude. You just keep coming. All right, you're a fucking idiot, bro. I'm done fucking playing with fucking idiots. I mean, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I don't have a gun. Lover's Peak, right up these stairs, wake. You fucking you have idiot. From the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Okay. Give me the gun. Yeah, give me the gun. Yeah, no can do, Wake. Give me the gun. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Hold them off, damn it. You're a fucking idiot. I I knew this was gonna happen, bro. Hold back the taken. All right, you're an idiot. Oh, what am I doing? Just a little longer. Scare them off. Alright, yeah. I have no fucking flares. Ah, I have no flares. You're on your own, fucking dumbass. Just a little longer. I almost got it. I mean, the fuck is happening, dude? Uh, I can't shoot these guys. Peek, right up these stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. Yeah, no can do. Wake. Yes, it's gonna take forever to be honest with you. I only have a certain. I don't have any flares. I used them all because I didn't know what the fuck is happening. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back. Mm. Pull them off, damn it. Just do your thing, bro. I'll. I don't know. Just a little longer. Scare them off. It's not gonna keep them off them. I already know this. Oh my god, man. This is a nightmare, man. I'm running, bro. You're on your own. You took my wife. Fuck you. There's the light. They won't go towards it, right? Better get ready. They'll be honest soon. I don't have a gun, man. What? I mean, what do you want me to do? Holy crap, dude. Well, this game went from being chilled to, like, fucking... Bit real fast. This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more players here. Get ready. Yeah, it's, I mean, more... They keep coming. Hold on, before anybody starts coming, I want to grab this. Give me the goddamn gun! Oh my god, you're a fucking idiot, dude. I'm gonna use this as best as I can. Alright, I need to need him to kill. Oh my god!
Shoot this guy right here. God, you are the worst, bro. You have a gun and you're not even protecting me, man. Thank you, man. What, another wave? Oh my god. They're coming from behind? Like I say. Alright, reload, hurry up and kill the guy. Thank you. This is, a piece of cake, Wake. this is not a piece of cake. You know how fucking hard this is? My god, yeah, there's no fucking way I'm doing this. I'm sorry, but no. Why, man? Oh, come on, dude. Why is this so hard? Why is this so hard, man? I cannot believe. I'm getting hot playing this game, dude. Yeah, fuck you. I can't wait to shoot you in your fucking forehead, man. Trying to use this as efficiently as possible, but this guy does not want to shoot them. Thank you. All right, behind you. The game said the dodge, but that's not how you dodge. I'm trying not to waste my fucking batteries, man. I'm trying to be as efficient as possible, because I only get a certain amount and I don't get a gun. This is not a piece of cake. Quit saying it's a piece of cake. Because if this was a piece of cake, I wouldn't die so much, you know? Wow, this is, I, I, just, I don't know. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. Kill him, please. Fucking asshole, dude. Damn, motherfucker. Can't breathe, man. Oh, please be done. Please be done. Please be done. Oh, thank God. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control what the hell are you talking about where's alice i want the entire manuscript or she's gonna suffer bad what so you say this to get the manuscript all that for the manuscripts because he's trying to get his money he's trying to make money off this book that apparently that alan wake is making or writing yeah shoot him
Oh, finally a gun. No, come back here. I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice. Do you hear me? Come back here. He had Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. All right, let's read this last, uh, or not even last. We had a bunch of these. Holy shit. Okay. On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant until now. Hmm. Oof, well, that ending just fucking, it's just no gun was kind of hard. I mean, oof. but guys, I think um, we're going to end the second episode here. Um, and I think I just need a small break from the game for a little bit. I thought the game was just going to be peaceful with a little bit of shooting here and there, but mostly just storytelling. I mean, the good the game was good. The story is pretty good. Every time you pick up a manuscript, it's like that's what's happening in the game or in a story, rather, which is interesting. I've never uh, played a game like it before, which is awesome, actually. But um, if you guys want to see more, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and like. Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and leave a comment down below, and let me know. I'll catch you guys in the next one.